Long Island man shoots 14-year-old boy through door during ring and run type prank. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. Today we got a video, um, kind of like a, it sort of reminds me of that TikTok video that the kids was doing. They was running around, knocking on the door and then running. Um, and it was like a phenomenon going on TikTok. Um, here we got a young, a young man, 14 years old. He actually was knocking on the doors and, you know, running. And it was a 64-year-old man on the other end of that door who didn't take too kindly to it. Before we dive into the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AG's POV. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. It'll bring more awesome people over to AG's POV and into the family, similar to yourself. All my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. A Long Island man shoots a 14-year-old boy who knocked on his door several times as part of a ring-and-run type prank Thursday night. According to police, authorities say 64-year-old James Mosher opened fire through the door of his home on Peconic Bay Boulevard in South Hold around 9 p.m. The teen had knocked on both the front and rear doors and ran away. The third time the juvenile knocked on the back door, Mosher fired through the door's glass with a shotgun, police said. Investigators believe Mosher thought someone was breaking into his house and didn't realize it was a prank, as that's what I thought. The 14-year-old appears to have been struck in the upper right arm and was taken to Peconic Bay Medical Center with a non-life-threatening injury, which could have been worse if it was a few feet to the left, or possibly the right, whichever way you're standing. The boy is believed to have been part of a group of teens ringing doorbells in the neighborhood. Moshe was charged with a second degree assault, recklessly in in injuring a child with a deadly weapon. Okay, short story, short narrative, um, short video for myself, short commentary. Number one, it was a prank. Okay, I understand it was a prank. Um, kids running around, they thought it was innocent, you know, just playing a little game here and there. Unfortunately for the child, because anybody that's under the age of 18, I'm calling you a child, regardless. Um, unfortunately for the child, he was shot in the upper arm. Now, he could have been shot in the chest if he moved a certain way. It could have turned deadly. So, I mean, he's very fortunate in this case. Um, but I'm going to take the other side of it because, honestly, you know, the kids going to do what they're going to do. I did it before. Ding dong, Dixie. You know, catch a girl, get a girl, you know, you know, ringing the bell type pranks, you know, laying down, playing like we heard, you know, Bloody Mary, all these crazy games we used to play as kids. We ain't had no sense. We were just doing dumb stuff, okay? But at any rate, I'm taking the man's side on this one and this angle because, number one, he's 64 years old, okay? He didn't know. He you watch the news enough and you you know if you're constantly watching the news you know you're seeing people break-ins home invasions you know um robberies all kinds of stuff you know what i mean so with him being at that in that age group I'm not saying that you know he couldn't protect himself but somebody banging on my door every, every two minutes all right and it's late at night, nine o'clock at night okay i ain't had nobody coming over okay somebody about to get it and Rightfully so. All you're doing is protecting your property, protecting yourself, and make sure everything that you're doing is up to par. So, I mean, I can't, I can't fault this dude for shooting this kid in the arm. The kid should never be knocking on the door. Listen, when we was kids, this is what we used to do. We used to run up, ding dong, Dixie. We ring your bell all crazy, and then dip. Yeah, it's gonna piss you off. You gonna come to the door, but we now gonna go back to that same house. We gonna go to another house and do it again. You know what I'm saying? And then another house, then another house, then another house. So it ain't like we rang the doorbell, come back, do it again, come back, do it again. Somebody will get irritated. Like, all right, you know what? I got something for you. So these days, you knocking on people's doors. See, you got to think of it like this. You knocking on somebody's door, you ring someone's bell, and then all of a sudden, one person ring the bell. Hey, how can I help you? Boom, you get 
tackled. Somebody run up in your crib, ransack your crib, do it all. I mean, listen, bro, it's ways of getting people. So many ways. You see so many scams and so many pranks. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's not a lot of good people out here in the world. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are great people. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all tuned in and I'm tuned into you and what you saying. You know what I'm saying? But everyone is not like you. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be cautious and we got to be vigilant about everything that's going on. So we got, um, you know, it's, it's, it's both ways I could look at it. Yeah, you didn't have to shoot through the door. You got a glass door. Was the glass frosted? Was the glass clear? Can you not see? Was the background black and the cat on black and you couldn't see him? Like, you know, what was it? What was the situation? So I wasn't there really to comment. I'm just going by like I can understand both angles. You know, yes, you do have to arrest this man because he did recklessly shoot through the window. You know what I'm saying? And it was like a kid and, you know, no threat was there. But hopefully this child somehow, some way learns from this and not go out and do it again. You can't do dumb things and then expect to get a reward for, or you know, some type of, you know, praise for it or something. Yeah, you might get a, oh, yo, you did this three times? Are you crazy? You know, your friends may say something, but other than that, I mean, you almost lost your life, young man. You know what I'm saying? So please be careful. Don't do dumb things like this, and the world be a better place. You know what I'm saying? Kids don't do pranks. If you don't do a prank, be smart about the prank. Don't invade someone's space. Don't invade someone's privacy. You know what I'm saying? Be respectful for everyone that's around you. You know what I'm saying? And, and go from there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, do something like a Nutella prank. You know what I mean? Check that on YouTube. Funny, funny, funny prank. Um, all right, well, that's the end of my video. Um, if you're new here, I appreciate you coming out. Okay? Do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. All right? Click on that like button as well to let me know that you like the video and share the video. Share the video on all your major platforms, all your family members and friends, and check me out at TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I do little fun videos here and there, previews of these videos. You probably should try to do the best portion of the video, in my opinion. Um, you know, it's a work in progress, so bear with me. But um, at any rate, I love every single one of y'all. I thank y'all for coming out. And um, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.